Um, we were talking about cats and we were talking about action movies. Yeah. Watch this segue. <laughs> Some of my favorite acting you did is you were in um, Laser Cats, an SNL sketch. Ah, yes. Yeah. Were you, what was your name? Do you remember? Doctor, maybe Doctor Scientist? Something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to show a clip and then just try to put us, you know, in your head for the prep of a role like this. Let's take a look at Jake and Laser Cats. Okay. Eat laser. No! Looks like it's the end of the line, Andy. Merle's spaceship. That may be, but you're forgetting one thing. <laughs> What's that? I just started using Laser Cats again. So good. It's so good. So good. I love the, like, the cross-cutting angle of the thing. It's, it's like so bad. awesome. It's, a, it's, a, it's real bad work. It's so good. You elevated. It's work yes. that you elevated. Yes, yes, absolutely. You, um, uh, you got to uh, obviously not just do fight scenes, but you did fight scenes with Conor McGregor, who you know, fights professionally. Yes. Does that make it more, I don't know, is it helpful to do with someone like that or intimidating or a combo of both? I mean, I, you know, they, they chased Connor to be in the movie for a long time, and I, it was really important to try and bring, like, the real UFC and fighting into the movie, into, like, the fictional Hollywood space, you know? And I think that is sort of what makes the whole movie. And so when he finally said he would do it, I was so... I remember getting the call, I was, like, so psyched. And then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> um, and... But he, what I learned was, you know, he was, he was very humble in the process. To teach a fighter how to fake fight, it wasn't just him. We had a lot of fighters or ex-fighters on it, but particularly the current, you know, pro fighters that are in the movie. I was like, so, we're, so you're not going to hit me. And they were like... <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to just be a little bit off. And they were like... That. So, so that worried me when I... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Um, but, but ultimately, like, the, the distance and accuracy of a professional in that space is extraordinary. It's like millimeters. So you end up feeling safer because they, they really know that distance in a different way than, like, say, another actor or right. say... Yeah, but and, and I think in the end, you know, Connor was coaching me through things. It'd be like, we grapple in the movie a lot, and he was, like, telling me how to win, you know? He'd yeah. be like, right leg, over, right leg, over, right, 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 you're choking me out, oh, that's good, yeah, you're choking me, all right. Like, it was... So, it, it was helpful. <laughs> that, is, yeah, that sounds helpful. <laughs> I would be, I've never been in a fight, but I would love if the person I was fighting would be that helpful. Um, <laughs> I was wondering, um, what's harder, to fake punch or to get fake hit? Oh, well, I think fake punching is is a little easier on the body uh -huh. because, like, fake hitting is um, like you have to throw your neck a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of like neck throwing and like, and you know, that that's after a while definitely gets the neck. But then throw, you know, it's not it's like fake. Yeah. It's like being, you know. We had a, this thing called a four-pass process where, like, it, first we did the Hollywood version, which is, like, where we've seen in lots of movies where you sell the punch and you're just for the angle of the camera. And then we did another one where you put a pad so you could see the punch, so you could see the impact. And then the next pass was, like, you get hit with the pad. And then the last one was a slow-motion one where we actually hit, but in slow-mo. And it was, like, the most fun. Yeah. The slow-mo was, like, when you're a kid and you're like, I'm so <laughs> raw. And we'd all inevitably go, raw. <laughs> You got to roar. Of course. You got to Come on. It's slow mo. You got time. Roar. And, you, and here you're like, bleh. <laughs> roar, bleh. You also, of yeah. course, have to do uh, the sound effects are mostly, I would imagine, ADR you get in post. Yeah, mostly. Unless um, you actually get. And I like when you actually yeah. get hit. But even that's not as, as good, good as sound as is like a chicken. This is yeah. the real work uh, that you're putting in in the booth, and, and it comes across oh. on screen. <laughs> I'm going to make you suffer. <clears throat> Pain, don't hurry. Pain don't hurt. I'm gonna make you suffer. Pain don't. <laughs> pain don't. Pain don't hurt. Pain don't hurt. Pain don't hurt. <laughs> Great. Okay. That was the director Doug Lyman. He's being very <laughs> helpful. Very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> that, yes, that was when we were on the ADR stage and we're, we're, we're looping over like the existing fights and stuff. That was for the very last fight in the thing. And uh, we were, <laughs> and I was <clears throat> trying to get that line in there. It obviously didn't make it in the final version of the movie. <laughs> I do like that I feel like if that clip leaked without content, <laughs> like without context, people would be like, what's up with Jake? <laughs> there is a weird thing I'm doing and I don't know what this is, but it's like some sort of weird move, but I think I'm, I'm actually in the shot that you can't see. I'm like 
I'm, I'm like choking him out like that. So I was sort of just That's trying a good to- cover story, but it yeah. is still weird to watch. <laughs> you, have you put any thought, uh, because you are a very believable, uh, you know, UFC fighter in this. Have you put any thought- The answer is no. <laughs> I bet you have, though, okay. what I'm gonna ask. Okay, okay. Because there's always, like, the, like, sort of psych-up walkout song for everybody. Oh, yeah. But, like, you know, I feel like you, I also know you to be, like, a big fan of, uh, you know, theater and, and musicals. Have you thought about, like, what you might walk out to? Well, yeah, because we actually, I walked out to, to in a real UFC, uh, UFC 285, we filmed there, and I filmed and walked out in the octagon, and they asked me over and over again, like, what song, they're like, what song do you want for your character? And I... I just kept, I was like, couldn't, I was like singing in the rain. Like, <laughs> and they were like, yeah, no, no. And I was like, I'm like, I mean, like any of Gene Kelly's stuff, I'm like, I, and then they were like, finally they were like, can we just go default? And I was like, yeah, they're like, fine, you're going Enter Sandman, that's it. I was like, okay, cool, that's it. So I would probably, yeah, I went By the way, I feel like uh, a UFC fan is gonna love this movie because of how much time okay. and attention you guys put into it. But if that UFC 285 was there and they knew they were filming a movie and you walked out to sing it in the rain, they'd be like, everything we thought about Hollywood is true. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, in truth, once we got in there and we were fake fighting, they said the same thing. Uh, you know what I mean? They but, were like patient for a minute and they were like, they're like, Boo! <laughs> they're like But actually, there was a moment where Jay Huron, who, who we, I fought with in it, fake fought with in there, he turned me because he's an ex fighter and he said, listen, man, we're going to the Octagon. If you really want to punch me, just do it. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that so, seems like a trap. Yeah. I feel like if you punched him, you'd be out here right now with like a crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. catcher's mitt rapping. <laughs> yes. um, the movie's so fun. It's always oh. so fun to have you here. Thanks so for coming back, Jake. Here. Thank you for having me. Thanks, everybody, Roadhouse. Streaming now on Prime Video.